It was perfect too, because as soon as you like started saying ghost stories, one of the lights behind you turned off. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You guys are paying attention! <laughs> Scary stories. Everybody loves a scary story. I like to tell scary stories. I like to write scary stories. I love to read scary stories. And if you can tell me a scary story and I get a chance to sit and hear one, we're doing even better. Well, there are sometimes, my friends, when life imitates art. And one such occasion is when I was actually engaged as a storyteller on the USS Constitution. It was for their harvest happenings, and I was dressed as a pirate, the ghost of a pirate. My job was to sit there and tell ghost stories to all the kids and families of active duty servicemen that were coming through. Well, if you are at all familiar with the USS Constitution, it's the oldest commissioned battleship not only in the United States, but also the world. So it's seen a lot of action has a lot of former crew members that still like hanging out. And as I was telling some stories last year, the night was getting darker, getting a little colder, getting a little spookier. After I was done, a woman came up to me and said, while you were telling the story of the young boy that was blown apart by a cannon for falling asleep at his post, somebody was playing with my hair. And I asked her, who was it? You know, I will talk to some of the officers. And she said, no, you don't understand. I was over there in the corner. There was nobody behind me. But somebody was playing with my hair. And I was like, Cool. Some of the ghosts that I was telling stories about decided to stop by and pay a little visit. And apparently they liked the stories I was telling because they weren't acting up. They were just adding to the ambiance. So that was really fun. And then there have been times when I would be telling spooky stories. And all of a sudden, something would fall off the wall, fall off a shelf. One time I was in somebody's front parlor and they had a lot of really expensive Christmas ornaments on their tree. One of them was about the size of a tennis ball. It was all the enamel and everything, cloison, I believe it's called. Very heavy. Well, I was telling a ghost story, and one of the people there decided that they were a skeptic and said, I don't believe a word of any of this. And as soon as she said that, one of those balls came shooting across the room like somebody threw it. There was nobody over by the tree. We were all over here. So, yeah, there are some times when life can imitate art, and it makes both a heck of a lot more interesting.